Hi, my name is Tapan Kadi. I'm currently a professor in the Department of Leukemia at MD Anderson Cancer Center. Uh, really happy to be here at the ASH meeting, uh, interacting with my colleagues, uh, listening to new data, and presenting some of our own data. I want to highlight one of our abstracts, which is actually uh, first authored by one of my colleagues, Dr. Alexander Bazinet, uh, and which I'm presenting for him. Uh, it's an all oral combination of uh, chemotherapy for patients with newly diagnosed AML, specifically those patients who are 75 years of age or older, or uh, those patients who are unfit for intensive chemotherapy, who have advanced performance status, those folks who just can't tolerate the intensive chemotherapy approach. Uh, based on the Viale A study, which combined IV or sub Q A society and VEN, we knew that the combination of HMA and VEN was going to be active. And so we used an oral formulation of decidabine, uh, which is oral decidabine or ASTX, combined with venetoclax. Uh, in newly diagnosed patients with AML, who are unfit for intensive chemotherapy. We saw a remission rate of 67%, very similar to VLEA, and uh, a median overall survival of 12.6 months. Again, excellent overall survival in this population. What you need to know, though, is this population of patients, uh, although older and similar to VLEA, were enriched for patients with adverse prognostic features, including those who had adverse karyotype, adverse mutations, as well as 40% of the patients who had received prior HMA, or hypomethylene agents for MDS, prior to being diagnosed with AML. And we know that in that patient population, the response is typically very low, and the survival is in the range of around five to six months. So in this sort of mixed population, we saw outstanding results, excellent remission rate, uh, well, good tolerability in an all oral regimen, portable, outpatient, uh, for the most part, uh, that we can deliver to patients uh, for, uh, for uh, induction of their maintenance.